Hello everyone, welcome back to Neo Kills Gaming. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Ramparts on Insane Survival Mode. This is going to be for the Genie Pet. We will be going to Wave 15 with this. Alright, so first up for this map here, we will mostly, if you see my other guys, we will mostly be using the Apprentice, the Hunter, and the Squire. For the stats, you want as much as you can into Fortify for the Squire. The Huntress, almost everything in the Fortify with a little bit in the range and defensive rate. And for the Apprentice, mostly everything in the power and then about 100 to 200 on everything else. So first up, what I do with this map is I start with the Flame Burst Tower here. One here. One there. I like to get this one a little bit more on the forward end here. Right about like that. And we'll switch back to the squire. We're going to place a spiked blockade right here. And that's it for this one. Um, you will have to kill anything that has a fire resistance. And you'll have to watch this path here. And if you are looking for guides on any of the other maps, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss those. I will be doing every single map for all the pets. We are about halfway through all the maps right now. Alright, now that that's taken care of, we are going to switch to our Huntress. And we're going to place a darkness trap right around the center of that bridge. We're also going to place one right about here, a little bit higher up on the stairs. And then one right about the right about there go down here and collect as much of this mana as we can. Then we're going to switch back to our apprentice. Now I like to put oops, a flame burst tower right on top of this pillar here. And I angle it this way so that way it will shoot the wavelengths and uh, everything down in that little pit there. And I place another one right here, back a little bit. And we're going to switch back to the Squire. The first spike blockade, you want it to be on the flat part here. Otherwise, you're going to have ogres that phase through it. You also want it to overlap on the right side a little bit there for the ones that are heading towards other crystal. And that one should be good there. We're going to back this tower up just a little bit more. Just so that way it's not taking damage. Or as much damage anyway. And that's going to do it for this wave here. We'll fast forward to the next one. I'll show you the rest of the build. Alright, we have to switch back to our Squire for one more Spike Blockade. And I place this one right about the center. Right there. And back to our Huntress. Now we're going to be placing Gas Traps behind those Darkness Traps. Yeah. 
And we have exactly 40 units left. So that's going to be for all of our deadly strike towers. We're going to place one right here. And I angle it right about like this. So that way it covers that left um, flame burst tower. And uh, helps with the, the fire resistant wervens. And we don't have enough mana, so let's go see if we can find any laying around. But the rest will be flame burst towers. I'll show you where I put them all here. Alright, looks like we have enough for three more. So I place, actually I place two right here. You want to make sure that that left path there is covered for the ogres. And same thing with this one. As long as that left path is covered for the ogres, and then it will. Oops, got myself stuck. Then it will shoot the wyverns on the rest of the time. Then I like to place another one right about here, and this one's going to be angled with the left one towards that flame burst tower over there. And after this wave, I'll show you where we placed the, the last uh, Deadly Strike Tower. Alright, for this last tower, I like to place it on this pillar here. And this one is going to be covering this direction here. So that uh, Flame Burst Tower that's over on that pillar there, we are going to cover that one and this will be mostly for ogres and wyverns as well then you can upgrade and repair traps as needed and we'll go ahead and take this to the final wave then all right and we're on the final wave here now I did want to point out that earlier I noticed I accidentally put a flame burst tower here it was supposed to be a deadly strike I changed that throughout the waves here um, but yeah, just so you know, I noticed that in the top right corner, the defensive units were at, not at zero and I was curious. So I looked around until I found that I accidentally put the wrong tower over there, but yes, there should be five deadly strike towers in total, two here, one there, and then two in the back corner, but we'll let this wave here play out. Also, if there's uh, any qu uh, questions or comments that you might have, go ahead and let me know down in the comments down below. I'm actually really glad that they brought this map back here. This was one of my favorite maps to do survival mode on um, back on DD1. It's a good map. And also keep an eye out for all your legendary gear because there has been a lot dropping since I've been running this one.
All right, as you can see, this map, uh, or this build does really good for this map. If you take it beyond this wave here, this tower ends up taking a lot of damage. That's normally the hardest one to protect. But if you stay behind it and just keep repairing it, um, then you should do all right to take it all the way to wave 25. And here we go. Our genie is right there. And we'll take that brooch. Alright, that's all there is to this map. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button if this helped you out. Leave a like, a comment down below. Appreciate it. And uh, hope this helped you guys. Alright, have a good one everyone. Until next time.